Your bed's on the other side, idiot. Wonder if I should just go to bed. now hmm. let's check it out stay right behind me don't wander off Eesh. Oh, that woke me up oh gosh I'm sleepy going to see what happened I'm sure you would be fine but take care out there I heard a loud sound Will you be all right going out there? Vampire. Vampire! Good. She's gone. Really? Really. Hey, she's wounded. On the neck. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Looks like... bite marks. <sighs> well, what to do here? Off to tell the winged informant, I suppose. What are we gonna do? We'll give them a call. Much as I hate to see them. It's their job to deal with this kind of thing, after all. Something happened? Someone died. Probably murder. Huh? It was the informant in the hat. Lend me your phone so I can call you-know-who. <sighs> uh, I'll make the call. They'll be here tomorrow morning at the earliest. Go to your place, lock the door, and stay inside. Glad you understand. Won't be asking for any money later, right? You're so rude! I just don't want to lend you anything important to my work. I wouldn't stand for it if you sneakily made off with the personal info on this phone. You trust me that little? Uh, what are we gonna do about her? Just gonna have to leave her until they arrive. Yes. If she was indeed murdered, we wouldn't want to make any missteps on the crime scene. Yes? You're leaving her like that? Can't do much else. We're no experts. Experts. Still, though, it's hard to believe the Hatter was done in. Wasn't she rather strong? But she could also go down quick if somebody got behind her. Oh, would she? Is that what happened when you first met? Still not enough info. We'll gather more tomorrow. Oh, and just at a glance, it looked like there were bite marks on the neck. Huh? So you think this town's vampire story? Still think it's up in the air as to whether that's true. Hmm. How puzzling. Let's think it over carefully tomorrow. Good idea. Alright. See ya. Take care. Informants and con artists alike always stick their necks in places where it might get chopped off. Truly, I don't understand it. <sighs> so I see. Another one. Can you get to sleep? I don't know. <sighs> if you really can't fall asleep, you can sleep over here. Uh? <laughs> As if you're actually that dejected. Good night. Good night. That informant with the hat just stopped moving. And I'd only just been talking with her. Will I even get to sleep tonight? I might not. Ow! Finally! We're leaving. Get ready. I'm sleepy. I've got more where that came from. I'm up! Morning! Good. Let's go. Hmm? Long time no see. Yeah. To be expected, though. You're always around when these things happen. Hmm. A child. Hey, 
Let me make this clear. She's not my kid. Captain, I'm all done with... Yo. You again? I don't suppose you're the culprit in this case. And that child there, isn't she a dragon? First fraud, now kidnapping? Where does it end with you? Dragon? <sighs> she hatched from an egg. The egg just suddenly appeared under my bed. And hey, just try and prove that fraud incident. You're not calling me a crook without evidence, are you? <laughs> Calm down a bit, Brett. But... As you wish. Hmm. Indeed. She does seem to be a dragon. Fellow dragons know each other just like that. Huh. He's a dragon? Right. Forgive me. Hello there, miss. I am Neil Macefield, captain of the police. This is Vice Captain Brett. Hmm. And he and I are both dragons. Same as you. I've never met any other dragons before. <laughs> Athena! Call me Effie! Hmm. We still have business to attend to, so excuse us for now. We intend to stay until the culprit is caught. Come to us for anything. <laughs> Captain! Unless I indicate otherwise, it is our duty to protect even these two. Hmm. Thanks. So long, then. So, those guys are dragons, too. First time you've met them, huh? Well... I've been avoiding them as much as I can, but when it comes to dragons, they know their stuff. I see. Time for me to gather info. You can go play, I guess. Okay! You know the drill. Don't wander off too far. I know! <sighs> Alright, I'll go to see her first. Morning, Mr. Swindler. I'm Leo here, so... Any new info? Right. I'll tell you what I gathered yesterday. This is an old story. There was a family of vampires who lived in a certain town. They were very gentle souls. Yet, there came to be many cases of missing townspeople. But then, one day, those who had gone missing were found in that family's mansion, drained of their blood. Was that this town? No, this happened elsewhere. Afterward, the family was executed for being horrifying vampires. But, it seems one from the family was able to quietly escape from the town. And they came here, and married an ordinary human. With each generation, the vampire blood gradually weakened. But one day, decades later, another townsperson was attacked. What then? That's all I learned. I couldn't find any records of anything after that. The pages were ripped right out. Ah, that's right. This was written in a book. A diary, perhaps? By someone named Jill Rigfire. Seriously? That was the same as what I found. <sighs> in short, the ones who would know the most should be those siblings. Right. I'll go check with them. Ahem. Ahem, ahem. Yeah. What? My payment? I already knew all that stuff. Wh what You should have told me that first! <sighs> Here. What's this now? A tea cookie. I could have told you that! I'm asking you why you're showing me this! What's this? Does an informant like you really not know about these cookies? Huh? Well, huh. Can't believe there'd be anyone who doesn't. I, I know! Of course I know about these cookies! From Milk Tea Town? Yes! Only one baked every two months? Yeah, yeah, yeah! You know all about these cookies, do you? Believe me, yes! Then you must know the value of them, right? <sighs> I'll take it as payment. That you will. Counting on you if you find any new info. Yes, thank you. vampire legend is true. Those siblings are the most suspicious of all, but directly asking them, it's unlikely that you'll find out the truth. These cookies are pretty tasty. I think your mistress should maybe be re-educated starting with the basics. 
I must admit on numerous occasions that the mistress is a bit slow on the uptake, but as such I do get to see some amusing things. As long as I get my due pay, I have no real qualms. Not a bad attitude. Looks like it's handwritten, but a few pages are torn out. Wonder what was on those missing pages. It seems someone was attacked, even after my insisting they refrain from going out at night. I'd like to ask you some things about that. Hmm? How? And who are you two? I said I was a traveler, but the truth is... So, this makes you... a detective? Yeah. Sorry I had to hide it. <sighs> Alright. I'll do whatever I can to assist. Thank you. Now then, what were you doing last night? I was reading a book. Then I nodded off. After that, I was woken by a person's scream. Then I locked the front door, since it would be dangerous if the wolf came inside. I see. Now then, are you familiar with the vampire legend in this town? <laughs> well, not so much. I did hear from my father that there was such a legend, but it was long ago and that family has long since perished, yes? Is that right? Thank you for your time. No, it was nothing. Goodbye. This guy's a terrible liar. But for now, fine. Next, his sister. I'll gladly assist if you need anything more from me. Right. Thank you. Uh... Hello. Mind if we talk for a- No. Hmm? No! <laughs> I see. Kids are tough to deal with. Incidentally, the design for the detective badge got changed last year, didn't it? They change it a lot. Wish I knew how to make those replicas myself. Guess I'll go ask him some things too. What do you want? Found anything out? You've been here investigating, I hope. Yeah. As you saw for yourself, the victim, Carol Deletta, was stabbed with a knife. There were multiple stab wounds, but not much bleeding, it seems. Not much blood at all, in fact. Huh. So then what's the sticky stuff on the wall? Oh. It looks like blood, but it's some kind of juice. Tastes a little sour, I guess. Probably... love berry. You licked it! That was the fastest way. Captain, might I recommend not licking everything you see? Huh? Even if it were poison, I would... Oh, forget it. What about the wolf? Wolf, huh? We've only looked a little, but we haven't found one yet. In fact, I don't sense any animals around here at all. Bugs, maybe, but that's it. I see. Thanks. I'll make a note of that. Mm, multiple stab wounds, but hardly any bleeding from them. In fact, it seems like most of the blood's gone. What's this juice even for? Maybe I should fish around for a little more info. I bet Effie would bring in something herself. Hmm. Will she? Found another! More people, more lies! So weird! And I got more cookies! Let's beat this one up! Tasty! Not very big, though. Hmm. What now? Maybe I'll read a book. Yeah, okay. I do gotta practice my reading. What? You want some of these too? Oh, but, but well, hmm. All right, but only if you tell me info of equivalent value. Info? Info, information. This is business, my dear. You must repay me for what I'm giving you. Hmm... What would be good? Let's see... Ah, how about him? The big one? Tell me his weaknesses. Weaknesses? Ah... Uh, he can't handle beer! He gets woozy right away! Oh? Also... He told me he doesn't really like spicy foods. 
I see. And he lies all the time. I know that. So, if I somehow summon him and somehow make him have beer and something spicy, I can defeat him. Oh, that's true. You're smart, lady. Here is your cookie payment. Say thanks. Yay! <sighs> On equal standing with a little girl, she has much to learn. Milk tea town, huh? I wonder what that is. I should have asked for more. <sighs> Mistress, eating so much all at once is really... Are you listening? She's going to put on significant weight again. read yet? Nope. I'm trying, but not a word. I see. Shall I teach you some? Sure. Then let's see. Mm, this is town. Correct. And this is Loveberry. Correct. All right. This is Vampire. That's all of them right. Good job. Hooray! Whenever you're curious about something, look it up right away. You're more likely to remember doing it yourself rather than being taught. Here, I'll give you this. A prize for your effort. <laughs> Candy! Thanks! So, you're a dragon too. Yep, we be dragons! <laughs> you look happy. That's a relief. On a stroll? Yep. I see. Don't wander off too far, please. Um... Effie? Yoo-hoo! Not gonna play outside? Outside? Well... I can't leave my room. Because my brother... Tells me not to. Oh! Well, let's talk then. Okay. So, you've never left this room? Well, it's only when outsiders are here in town. But even when there aren't any, I can only go on walks at night. Huh? Why? I don't know. But my brother goes out a lot at night. When I woke up last night, I saw him go out. Why? I... Oh no. Huh? Hey, what's that photo? Oh, this? It was stuck in the cover of a book in the library. That's... me. And my brother. Oh! Hmm. It's kind of faded, but now that you mention it, it does look like you, Rachel. Can you read what it says on the back? Yeah, it's my name. And brothers. The other one is... Our father? Maybe? It says Jill. So she can read. Nice! My brother said there weren't even any photos left from back then, though. Is your brother... a liar? Yeah. He never tells me anything. It's really fun to get to talk with you, Effie. Whenever anyone comes, 
My brother says not to talk. Mio tells me to shut up all the time, too. So we're buds. Yeah, that's right. There's been lots of gossiping outside today. Did something happen? Huh? You don't know? Someone, uh, died last night. I... see... again. Huh? I'm getting kind of sleepy. Will you talk with me again? Yeah, sure! <sighs> I'm sleepy. Hmm? It's you. On your own now? Yep! I see. Has he done anything to you? People and dragons working together is a very rare occurrence. Hmm. About how much do you know about dragons? Huh? I... Uh... I don't know. I mean... I don't really know anything about myself. I see. Then I'll tell you what I know. <laughs> Horns? And wings? Are you able to put these out freely? Wonky shaped. So, still unstable. It doesn't particularly require anything but a simple application of force, but these are the symbols of being a dragon. Stop making that face like it's really tasty. Eat it all. I don't mind. Mmm, you cop guys have really good cake. <laughs> <laughs> there are many different kinds of dragons. I can't recall ever seeing two who were alike. And you're... I eat lies! I can taste flavor, but if it's not a lie, it doesn't fill me up. I wonder why. Another unique kind of dragon, then. It seems that dragons are always born for a special reason. We're trying to find out what that is ourselves, but we still don't know. Are there lots of dragons? Yeah, there are a few dozen in the custody of the police. Custody? Hmm? Oh, right. We're protecting them. Protecting? As I've said before, it's very rare that dragons and humans live together. Our police force is a special one which cooperates with people. But I don't much trust humans. From what we know, there's a good chance of dragon eggs appearing before humans, but then they're sold as attractions or as slaves, and many have been stolen. Attractions? Being forced to work for others, and not being treated well. Does that give you a picture? When I was born, too, I was locked in a cage for show. <laughs> but the captain saved me, and after that, he let me on the force. We also work to rescue dragons like Brett, who are being treated unjustly. Why do people do that to dragons? Hmm, because they're rare? We're dragons, so we don't know exactly why. But it's rare to see a dragon like you who trusts people and works with them. Though I certainly don't consider him a person that's at all worth trusting. Brett. Still, if you believe in him, and Theobald Leonhardt, he won't interfere. But I would recommend being ready for anything when you work with a human. So, try not to get bullied? Yes, but there's a difference of lifespan. Dragons are ordinarily rather long-lived, so it's very likely he would die before you. I have experienced this myself. So, if you should ever be left all alone, you can come to us. We'll then gladly protect you in his stead. Got it. I'm sorry if I've given you sad thoughts with that remark. But it's a long while off. Until then, you should cherish every day, minute, and second with those you value. <laughs> okay! Cherish Papa! Hey, that thing you said, Teleball Mind Pants or something, is that Papa's real name? Theobald Leonhardt. Don't tell me he didn't even tell you his real name. Theobald Leonhardt. <laughs> That's one pathetic name. Thanks! Right. Sorry to prattle on. You have our support. Papa. Hmm. Does he make her call him father?